Next up is a solution for our sedentary lifestyles. Hi, Sharks. My name is Bing Howenstein, and I'm the CEO of All 33. I'm here today to ask for $500,000 for a 2.5% hello piece wow. of our company. Bing, baby! I know, it is a very serious ask, but that's because it is for a very serious problem. Chairs, they may be killing you. Now, you've all heard, sitting is the new smoking. Well, they are right. Sitting for any length of period of time is really bad for you. And chairs, well, they've had the same basic design for almost 3,000 years. Whatever you're sitting in, even the fancy, expensive chairs you guys are sitting in right now, you can find yourself locked, stuck, immobile, and a lot of times in pain. And for all of us working at home these days, this is just not okay. Well, I have some really good news for you. Oh! <laughs> all 33 wow. is here to save the day. But don't just take it from me. Let's hear what one of our biggest fans has to say. Hey Sharks, I'm Justin Bieber, and this is the All 33. It's the chair that moves like I do. I mean, guys, look at this perfect posture. I've got my chest up, my shoulders back. I'm ready for anything. I mean, have you guys ever seen a chair that could do this? I'm doing a full ab workout right now. All right, hit me up later. I'll be back. If you gotta sit, this is it. Now, Justin knows what he's talking about because this is our patented sit in motion technology. It's like a chair within a chair, and it rocks, just like our sails. Now, you don't have to have moves like Justin in order for this chair to work for you, because all you have to do is sit, get fit, and all 33 of your vertebrae, well, they're gonna keep moving all day. Now, this is a chair. Now, Mr. Wonderful, yes. you're looking particularly uncomfortable. I am. Would you like to come up and I take would. a seat and see what we're talking I would. about? I, I have a bad back from a squash injury. Oh, well then, <laughs> let's see what happens. Make sure you get your uh, behind all the way into the back of the chair. Scooch back there. All right. And you can probably feel the rocking motion move back and forth. Very interesting. Why is this making me sit up straight? Why does that happen? So, the, the patents that we have about this are really quite unique. Basically, Dr. Dennis Colonella, who invented this, he's been doing this for a long, long time. He's got 45 years of treating backs, necks, and everything else. He figured out, let's get your hips moving, almost as if what you're experiencing is, is, is a sensation that's almost like you're standing, but when you're sitting. It is moving all 33 of your vertebrae while you're sitting, and there's nothing else in the world that is doing it. I'm very skeptical about all these claims on chairs because I've tried so many. And I also have tried different devices to help my back. This thing actually is working. I don't care about Bieber. I'm gonna kick his ass when an eye album comes out. <laughs> I don't like your valuation, though. Well, we can talk about that. Yeah. I would expect that from you. Tell us, how, how did you get into this and what sure. happened? So I have been a patient of Dr. Colonel's for about 20 years, and then friend. I'm also a bit of a serial entrepreneur. I got into making products and getting products sold. Along the way, I got into the back care space. When I sat on Dennis's chair, an early prototype, I said, this is a whole different ballgame. I knew that Dennis was never gonna get this thing going. As a friend, I said, let me help you. I'm gonna do a Kickstarter for you. So we did that. It performed very well. What's very well? Uh, we did $800,000. That's very That's well. That's great. Did you license it from him? No, or no, no. you partners with him? I own a small piece of it. How much of the company do you own? I own about 5%. So a premium chair in today's market sells for roughly $2,000, a real premium chair. What does this sell for? We're selling this for $7.99. What's your margin? What's it cost you to make? So our margin's about 67%. Uh, our cost delivered to a customer with all that good stuff is about 260 bucks. Two and a half percent, 500,000, 20 million valuation. Yep. How many chairs are you selling? How many dollars? So this year alone, we've sold about 3.2 million. We're on track to hit five and a half. Okay, and what are you gonna make on five and a half? So we were uh, uh, slightly profitable in the second quarter, and we expect to be the same in this uh, third quarter. I mean, just help me because you know, I'm, I'm a quick study in, sure. in most sectors. Um, office supply furniture, or even if you want to call this high-end chair design, whatever, maybe it would trade for 11 times pre-tax cash flow. I mean, I'm not saying it isn't a great chair, but it's yeah. a chair. Why is it worth $20 million? We are looking at comps for other companies that are out there in a very similar space that are three to four times revenue. 
we know we're gonna get there. We have also talked to the market. Not my opinion, 20 million bucks is a pretty good valuation for So then us. why are you here? Why am I here? If you talk to so many people that gave you that valuation, why are you here? Because shark money is better than other money. So you're charging us more than no, your sales I'm because we're sharks? I'm prepared to give you a discount because you guys are sharks. Can you give a discount? I am the CEO of the company and I'm here to make a deal. You're a marketing company first and foremost. You've, sure. got, you've got your product, right? It's got its angle, it's got its sure. differentiation and that's good, right? I just don't want to be in the chair business. Sure. You know, it's just, of all the businesses, big and small, not that there's anything wrong with the chair business, but it's just not for me. Okay. Um, so for those reasons, I'm out. That's fair, thank you. If you had come in here today and you wanted to sell me a chair, you're the perfect guy. But you weren't here to sell a chair, you were here to sell a business. And Correct. You said you're a 5% owner? Correct. I, for some reason, feel it lacks credibility. Okay. I think that's a good lesson for other entrepreneurs. You can't send a salesman in. Well, with all due respect, this is my life right now. And to, you know, it's a bit of a denigration to call me a simple salesman on this deal. Barbara's very good at pissing everybody off. Well, Don't that's fair. I, and you're, you can do that. But the fact is, that's not, is, that is not what is happening here. I'm here to build a company. We are building a movement in a category that hasn't been done before. We're going up against the big guys that, you know, frankly, it's a fractured uh, system that I look forward to breaking. I wish I could believe that you're building a category, but I don't see that as a category. I see it as a, a chair with a new design element, no. but it doesn't get me all excited. So for that reason, no. Thank you. The problem for me is whenever somebody comes in and they have something different that can really be good, but they're just starting. Yeah and they want to get a shark, I always feel the smart thing to do is to be a lot smarter about your valuation because if you get somebody in and alongside with you, you could take a one-off item like this and blow it up, which is what I'm good at. Sure. So if you had had something that was just more realistic because you're, I, I just feel it's so out of whack. For me, it just turns me off. And for that reason, unfortunately, I'm out. That's fair. There is uh, a competitor uh, company that just had a two hundred million dollar valuation on, you know, so just I, a little um, higher sales. I actually, I actually work with one of the bigger guys, uh, mm -hmm. Barry Desk. Sure. And the whole uh, theory is the desk raise up, and the chairs that you know they sell are a little pole a chair, so you have to balance yourself, sure. right? Um, this would be a conflict uh, with me, so I'm out. I started choking on the valuation, and I'm still choking on it. Okay. I tried the chair, and it has merit. But 500k for two and a half percent—I don't get out of bed for two and a half percent. Well, uh, I, mean, I, I can't I'm do it. I'm more than happy to I, have I you in a higher place up. in the cap my, table. My just a little more money. You just squeeze your head like a teenage pimple, and I feel like doing that, <laughs> but I don't want to. So I'm out. Okay. Thank you very much. I will buy one though. Well. Uh, you're gonna have to pay full price this time. I guess oh. I will. <laughs> oh, bam! All right. Thank you, Bing. To have Barbara just call me a salesman, I think that was a bit offensive. And, you know, I don't think any entrepreneur wants to hear that. When you put your blood, sweat, and tears into something, um, I, I find that uh, particularly, you know, not cool.